This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. A Hamilton County judge sets a $1 million bond for a woman accused of killing a man in East Price Hill over the weekend. Sarah Jackson is charged with the murder of Ronnie Kemp. He was found stabbed to death Sunday night outside an apartment building on Grand Avenue. Jackson's attorney told the court he would argue it was a case of self-defense, but the prosecutor asked for a high bond, citing Jackson's criminal record, including multiple felony convictions. This home in North College Hill is a total loss following a late night fire. It started just before midnight on Goodman Avenue. Firefighters say by the time crews got there, the home was engulfed in flames. No one was inside and no one was injured, they say. The cause of the fire still under investigation. Today, two of the best tennis players in the world are here in Ohio. 23-time Grand Slam champion Serena Williams will take on the 2021 U.S. Open winner Emma Raducanu. That game is at 7 tonight. The matchup is just one at the Western and Southern Open in Mason this week. Williams announced last week she'll be retiring after the U.S. Open. Baby Hippo Fritz is taking baby steps toward his public debut. The Cincinnati Zoo shared this video of the two-week-old hippo calf exploring the outdoor habitat yesterday. Zookeepers say he stayed right there with mom Bibi the whole time. Fiona and dad Tucker stayed inside while they explored. We will keep you updated on when you will be able to see Fritz outside with the rest of the bloat. Brandon. Well, the weather hasn't too, been too much on the fritz here lately. 80 degrees, sunshine mixed with a few clouds and a slight chance at rain today. Tomorrow, 80 degrees, a couple of clouds, a slight chance at rain. Pretty comfortable. Overnight tonight, we're dry as well, 61 degrees. So overall, a pretty quiet holding pattern here today, tomorrow, and even into Thursday. Overall temperatures comfortable. We're supposed to be right around 85 to 86. We're going to be below that all the way through the end of the week. And then Friday, we get towards that normal at 85 degrees. A slight chance of the scattered shower or two may be possible this afternoon and tomorrow. But for the most part, we're dry until we hit the weekend.